Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are staying overnight here at Onogawa Onsen in Yonezawa City. Popular onsen here in Yonezawa, Yamagata Prefecture. Of course, we are going to try lots of the local foods here. So this is day two of our Yonezawa adventure. If you missed the first video, check it out by clicking right up there. You really don't want to miss that video because we ate a lot of delicious food, including the famous Yonezawa beef. Today we're going to be staying at a traditional Japanese inn or a ryokan located here at Onagawa Onsen. Of course, we're going to give you a tour of that place. Satoshi knows exactly what to eat here, including the Yonezawa ramen, the tamakonyaku, as well as the special egg. Okay, so the first shop, you cannot miss this shop. It's Marutaya-san and they are a souvenir shop and they also sell this food, uh, traditional local food here. They have this uh, tamakonyaku. Yeah, I'm familiar with this uh, because I have been to uh, Satoshi's hometown, Yamagata. They also have this uh, tamakonyaku, but this one's a little bit different. You see the little specks there. These are black sesame seeds and the yellow thing is mustard. I'm hungry. Mmm. Mm. The bars of tamakonyaku is actually firmer than I expected and simmered in a really nice dashi based broth. There's lots of umami. Mmm. I mean, the konyaku is so healthy for you and virtually zero calories. Tamakonyaku is kind of Yamagata's soul food. Since I was a child, I sometimes ate this tamakonyaku. I love this. Itadakimasu. Mm. 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 They put this cognac in the dashi broth long time and it goes through to this cognac inside. Outside is brown. The dashi goes through to this zone, this area. Really tasty. And they also have nitamago, boiled simmered egg. Simmered in the same sauce of cognac, tama cognac. Mmm, mmm, nicely seasoned. Same as um, cognac, you can see the brown part around this boiled egg. Yeah, dashi goes through to this egg white. So, this is a souvenir shop, so uh, let's check out what they got. They got like shrimp chips and they got cheese. Kore nani, what's this? Grape it's, juice. Um, grape, yes, grape juice. Grape juice, okay. Hey, look, they have tsuyahime. This is. Uh, Yamagata is very famous and delicious rice. They got like a gift size tsiyahime here. They got some rice crackers. They have some local handicrafts here as well. So if you're into these kind of things, this should be a lot of fun. And this is something that they only have during the winter time. Yeah, this is the mame moyashi. It's a specialty of this area. These are bean sprouts and they are very, very special. And she says that uh, they also serve it as nabe yeah, at yeah. the ryokan we're going to be staying tonight. So, cannot wait to try this. They look delicious. I love these uh, specialty vegetables whenever we go on trips like this, you know? So here is their manju, the three colors. Black one, yellow one, and the sesame seeds one. Mm, looks so delicious. I want to buy this one. Oh no, the lady gave it to us for free. The beautiful manju. Mm, looks so nice. I love this kind of manju. We're going to enjoy this later on at the ryokan. Yeah. Oh my gosh, thank you so much lovely lady. Thank you. Okay, so this is Marutaya store. Guys, if you visit Onogawa Onsen, which you should, Please visit Marutaya because that lady is so sweet and she does offer a lot of things uh, including the manju that she gave us the konyaku that we mm -hmm. had and mm -hmm. the egg uh, everything was so good but she's just so sweet she's like the sweetest lady ever anyway what are we gonna eat next I'm hungry very close to Marutaya san mm. I found tofu shop tofu shop yeah Okay. I heard this top shop has long history, more than 100 years. Wow, okay, so I guess we're having tofu? Tofu kind of tofu stuff. Tofu kind of tofu stuff. <laughs> All right, let's eat some tofu, I guess. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Oh. Tofu, tofu. Tofu? 
Wow, so this is the tofu shop that's been in business for over 100 years. Interesting. So they have, oh, they have some interesting ones too. That's shiso, which is shiso. red perella oh. leaf. And Oma, sesame, 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 black sesame. sesame, that's white sesame tofu. They got deep fried ones. Wow, a lot of variety here and looks so fresh. They also have some craft beer. Okay, so this is the tonu soft or uh, soft serve made with soy milk from this 100 year old uh, tofu shop. It looks so good. Anyway, I am going to eat right now. Wow, wow. Mmm. Oh my gosh, you know what? It's more tofu y than milky. I was expecting it to taste milky and creamy, but it actually tastes like tofu in soft serve form. Yeah, you can actually taste the soybeans. Usually, when, when I have um, soy milk soft serve, it tastes more like cream, not so much like soy milk. But this is like eating soy milk. So, mine is Tofuya Sunday. Under the Tonyu soft serve, here is Tonyu pudding. They are using a different kind of soybeans. It is called Hiden Mame. In English, legendary soybeans. The green stuff is, uh, I think it's matcha powder and some syrup. Mmm. The tea flavor matches so good. I like this soybean flavor so much. Soy milk pudding. Ta -da. Here. Oh, jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. Pudding, pudding, pudding. The kuromitsu, this kuromitsu is very good. Mm -hmm. And the pudding is so soft, smooth. Mm -hmm. So check out the layers. That's the soy milk pudding. That's the kuromitsu or Japanese black sugar syrup. Got the, the soft serve, the matcha powder on the top. I'm going to eat it all together. Oishi, it's so good. It's so good. Like Satoshi said, yeah, the kuromitsu really brings it all together. It really, really does. The kuromitsu adds just enough sweetness to the, the tofu pudding and the ice cream. I like how natural this dessert tastes. It tastes natural. It also tastes healthy. I think it is healthy. You know what I'm going to say? This is a healthy dessert because it's made with soy milk, soybeans, from this area, the hidden soybeans, the legendary soybeans. Can I say once again that the uh, people who work there are mm -hmm. so nice. What is it with this town? Everyone is really nice here. Yeah, yeah I think so too. I'm falling in love with this place. <laughs> I really am. So this place is Onsen Town Hot Spring Resort. Mm -hmm. And in town, there are a variety of interesting spots. You can drink hot spring water here hot spring water yes oh okay do i want to do that please drink it hot spring water yes hot spring water hot spring water all hot right. spring water all right i guess that's where that's why we're here here you can drink hot spring water hot spring water yes okay you can also um bathe your feet in the ashi right mm -hmm. next to it mm -hmm. i can do that you can drink hot spring water. Hot spring water. Yes. All right. It's good for you. Yes. You sure? Yeah. Here is uh, something. Instruction. It contains so much mineral. Mineral. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is where the hot spring water is coming out from. It looks super hot. Mm -hmm. I just go like this. It looks really hot. Please be careful from the. the oh my part. gosh! Are you serious? Atsu. It's hot. Atsuiyo. Nomenaiyo kore. You can. Or you. This is hot, hot water. This is like. I can make tea with this. Atsui. Muri. Kore muri muri muri. I can't do it. It's impossible. The aroma is really like onsen. It's like an egg. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Shoppa. <laughs> it's. Yeah, it contains so much mineral, 
So, it's solity. But not super solity. It's drinkable, drinkable solitiness. We asked one of the locals here, and she said they used to have a cup there, but because of COVID, there's no cup. Ah, it's impossible to drink the wine. It's too hot. <laughs> we, 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 you can taste it though. So right next door to that drinkable onsen is this place where you can have a foot bath. And it's also a, a tourist information center. So Onoga Hot Spring was discovered 1,200 years ago. It has a long history. And this place is an iconic or symbolic place of this hot spring. This place is public bath, open from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Pretty long time, and the fee is 200 yen. Pretty cheap. We are on the way to the park now. The reason why is because you can actually order ramen to be delivered to the park. Yes, to the park. <laughs> What a, what, a, what, a, what a wonderful idea, mm -hmm, especially mm -hmm. because it's such a beautiful day yes, today. Yes. And it's perfect because it's going to rain tomorrow. Oh, right, it's going to rain tomorrow. So that's right. We have to order the ramen today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we're here at this park. It's beautiful. Beautiful there, park. There's a river running. Along the river. Along mm. the river. Yeah, it's beautiful. But anyway, let's eat some ramen. Yoneza ramen. Yes, yoneza ramen. And the restaurant is actually uh, a proper ramen restaurant. You can actually eat at the restaurant, but you can also get it delivered at the park. And you know what? This area looks like it is famous for fireflies. That's what the sign says. Interesting. I guess, I guess these ditches here were created for the fireflies, huh? Go to our bench and wait for our ramen. それ今あの出前の配達お願いしたいんですけれども、今はい、公園のところにおります。はい。お待たせいたしました。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。こちらおねざわラーメンになります。はい、どうぞ。そうですね。豆もやしになります。はい
it doesn't have that, how do you say, like plant flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's very, it has a more neutral flavor, yes. I think. Clear flavor. Clear. Mm-hmm. It has a clean mm-hmm. taste mm-hmm. and it has a really nice um, uh, flavor of the, the, the soybean. It's really nice and, mm-hmm. and once again, the texture. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's cooked, but you know, the texture is mm-hmm. very nice, crunchy. And mm-hmm. at the center of this ramen, mm-hmm. there is onsen tamago. Onsen tamago <laughs> because we are staying at an onsen. Yes. Mm-hmm. I love egg in ramen, but I've ha- I haven't eaten onsen tamago, onsen egg before. In a ramen. In a ramen. Yeah, me neither. Oh, egg white is soft and this egg yolk is also soft. All right, I'm going to have a piece of my chashu. Mm. So creamy oh, egg. Mm. Creamy? Mm. Creamy it looks egg. creamy. Yeah. Mm. I'm it's happy. so nice. Mm. So happy. This is so nice eating ramen at the park. Mm. And it's actually not that cold. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I was expecting it to be more cold here. Mm. In mm-hmm. such a beautiful day, eating ramen outside, mm. it's so comfortable. It's special. Special experience. Yeah, it's very mm. special. What do you guys think? Can you imagine <laughs> eating ramen at a park? have your ramen delivered don't you think that's like a great idea i've been saying that um mm-hmm. i think i said that like three four times on this video but this is such a great idea mm. and they deliver a several places in this onsen town mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and this place is one of them mm-hmm. there is a sign uh, which they uh, deliver mm-hmm. if you find the sign board mm-hmm. you can call uh, you can make a phone call and and ask delivery I see. Very interesting. And once again, a super good idea. So we finished with our ramen and they said they're going to come pick it up for us. We just leave it here. It's pretty amazing. We have one more place to go before we check into the hotel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So here is it. We it found a very interesting spot yeah. here. Here? Yes. Rajumu Tamago. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Here onsen is onsen, egg. Yes, onsen egg. Oh. This place is the place we can make our onsen egg ourselves. Interesting. I've had onsen tamago before, but I never made it myself. Okay, I hope it's not too difficult. So, looks like we have to buy the egg across the street at this store called Iwase. So, we're going to buy our eggs and we're going to make or cook our eggs in the hot springs. We got so, the eggs. I bought raw eggs. Six eggs. Six eggs. Mm-hmm. Raw eggs. So raw six eggs. eggs is the minimum, right? The minimum, minimum. order. Yes. Okay. That's <laughs> six eggs, like the carton. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're going to walk across the street from the supermarket. And this is where we're going to be cooking our eggs for 12 minutes. It's very hot. It looks so hot. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh. This hot spring water is 72 degrees Celsius. It's really hot. Oh it's God. it's vulnerable. It's like a tea water. 72 degrees Celsius. Mm-hmm. Wow, that is hot. Yes, it's very hot. Be careful. Okay. Don't put your finger in the water. Gotcha. Using this bar okay. and sink these eggs inside of this tub. Whoa. Whoa. Scary. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. And okay. wait 12 minutes. 12 minutes and then we have perfect onsen eggs. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. It's done. Oh. It's time. The onsen eggs are ready. Take it out carefully. Carefully. Where shall I put this? Um, here, I think. Right here. Here? Put it right here. It's, it must be done. It, <laughs> wow, it's steaming. Steaming. There's steam coming out from the eggs. So we got plastic cups. Plastic. We're going to eat the onsen tamago <laughs> in the plastic cup. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Don't we need chopsticks or anything? We have spoon. Okay. Okay. 
take one egg. Is it hot? It's very hot. Really? I can touch it, it's, but it's very hot. <laughs> My hand skin is very thick. <laughs> Your hand is very thick. <laughs> Crack. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh. See how runny it is, guys. This is your onsen tamago. Too bad we don't have soy sauce or something to season it with. That's right. We don't have any seasonings. I, I, eat, I will eat as it is. Okay. Here, it is called rajumu tamago. It's onsen egg. Itadakimasu. Yeah, it's egg white part is very soft. And the egg yolk is a little bit firm. Mm. That is the mystery of onsen egg. Mm. Umai. Umai. The egg yolk flavor is really good. Is it because of this onsen egg? I think the temperature is perfect. So this egg tastes really good. Mm. 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 I love this. Now, most people take these home with them. Uh, it seems like they don't usually eat it here out in the open like we are today. But um, yeah, why not, why not try making your eggs and maybe enjoy these back at your ryokan? Maybe that might be a better idea. <laughs> Is it salted? Nope. It has some saltiness to it. It must be from the hot spring water. The hot spring water is a little bit salty because we, we, we uh, licked some, right, earlier. Ah, it's good. Hmm, I'm kind of surprised. I, hmm, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Ah, <sighs> that was fun. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed many delicious street foods. Yeah, and uh, ramen. Ramen and interesting spots. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. I really am happy that we came here. Yeah. You know, instead of going to Hakone this time. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Cozy and the people are very nice. People are super nice. Mm. Yeah. But, you know, I am ready to go to the Ryokan because yes. it is becoming a little bit chilly. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, cannot wait to go into the onsen and have a nice dinner. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. So we've come to the end of this video. Next time we'll give you a complete room tour, show you what the hot springs looks like, as well as the feast we had for dinner at this traditional Japanese inn. So stay tuned. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. See you next time. Bye-bye.